um, Deezy, a uh, film by Miyake Page, who's actually got a proven track record of artist Meek Mill signing people off of his page. Shout out to Young Rose. Yeah, I pop out. Yeah, what do you want to do? Uh huh. I got the. Uh, Libra Jolie is one the one of the latest. Look, don't go broke trying to get on my level. Killing these souls, I'ma need new shovel. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gon' talk. Damn. But no, nah, I messing with Key. You know what I'm saying? Al, like, if you seen any Al D 300 video. The penitentiary made me ruthless and sleek. Vicious but honest, a stickler for punctuations and quotations. I want commas, estimation points. Come on, man. You man. Go, so the thing is, it's real easy. It was a real smooth process. It was fun. Yeah, and it, it was fun. Yeah. Just run the plays and never fumble. You know what I mean? Yeah. So when you're doing these, do you like do you charge more when you go out of town? Town, you gotta charge more. Well, I don't charge more for the video. I might give you a better price on the video really? to go out of town because you gotta pay for the travel expenses. Okay, so it really know. even out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, let's say I flew to New York to shoot something for some dudes. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna charge you even the same price I even charge for a video in Texas. I'm gonna charge you less than that, but it's gonna probably equal more if you paying for my hotel room yeah, no, for the flight and all that. That's dope, man. You know I sure. like that. Yeah. I'll be, me personally, when it comes to like, uh, Miyake, is, well, I'm actually, I'm gonna say like, different regions, different markets, I feel like would benefit from using videographers in other markets. So, um, it's it's not uncommon. Like if you from Dallas, and you already know how hard it is to uh to really get your shit really heard and stuff up here, it would behoove you in my mind to reach out to somebody like Miyaki to get you a, a a quality video and expose yourself to different markets. How me personally, how my buzz started growing was working with him. My videos was uploaded to his channel, and I started to make inroads in Houston and after a point in time when it got to a point it just seemed like I was more of a Houston artist as far as um with my fan base or whatnot it led me to moving down there you know so I just I just kind of think that people need to take advantage of knowing the the reasons behind picking a videographer and um you know taking advantage of moving differently you know, like people don't know how to really move in this game, man. Like you got videographers out here. You know, it's a lot of my boy. He's nice, but you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it to you plain and simple. You got videographers out here that they're charging you for their name, and you know, artists artists don't have a lot of money for one. They trying to get the most bang out of their bucks for two. You coming into a game that as an artist. Everybody is set up to take money from you. You know, hey, I, give me this, give me this, give me this. So even though the cost might not be way expensive, everybody wants something from the artist. So when you charging a person as a videographer to put their stuff on your channel, then a lot of that shit turn into trick bait. Mm. Like you got people with a million subscribers, so to speak. Um, they they telling you they got, they got a million fake subscribers. They telling you to pay this extra five or six hundred dollars or whatever to put your video on their channel they might not even shoot your video they might say well it's a thousand dollars for me to shoot it and put it on my channel you looking at the fact that they got a million subscribers as you know what i can get my video in front of that crowd man these people done paid for this whole <laughs> shit you know what i'm saying versus um Deezy, uh filmed by miyaki page who's actually got a proven track record of artist Meek Mill signing people off of his page. Shout out to Young Rose. Yeah, yeah. I pop out. Yeah. What do you want to do? Uh-huh. I got the glizzy with the 50. Uh, Libra Jolie is one, the, one of the latest. Look, don't go broke trying to get on my level. Killing these souls, I'm going to need new shovel. But the, it's a long list and he very modest. Ski taste. Keep it cool, little nigga. Keep it told him a troll, little nigga. Troll, little nigga. It's a lot of people this thing got signed off of his page. I credit a lot of my traction to not only what he's done taught me as an artist coming out the prison. Let me say this too. 
you know, this was my next door neighbor on medium custody in prison. You know what I mean? So, disclaimer, full disclaimer. <laughs> so, for he's not no nerd nigga with a camera is what I'm saying. Just a nerd that's done picked up a camera, went to school and trying to go out here and shoot some videos and shit like that. That's not what he is. So, when I look at what he's done built and, a, and accomplished, and when you look at the, uh, the artist that's fucking with him, and they do real artists, working artists, rich artists that trust him. And then for those that's taking it, making that transition from the streets over into getting signed and whatnot, man, it's not too, I'm talking about consistently. We ain't talking about, yeah, remember in 2010 when I got this, you know, it might be, you know, some of the guys that's up here, like in this Dallas market. Nah, he been consistent with getting artists, deals, notoriety, and all of that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.